Hi everyone, this will be just a very short video about the Alpha HRV app and Fatmaxer. This won't be a very fair comparison because Alpha HRV is very new and still in development. And also, while I record this video, there is already a new version out. But nevertheless, I thought it would be nice to document the history of the app development. So you can see that I did a ramp test for this video. And on the left side you see the temperature, the core body temperature. In the middle we have the Alpha HRV app for the Garmin unit, version 0.9.8. And on the right hand side you have the Android Fatmaxa app. You can clearly see that the values, the produced values are very similar. They are not identical, but close enough in my opinion. I have already increased the speed of the recording, but I recommend that you increase the speed further in YouTube. You can see that the DFA Alpha 1 values for both applications are very similar. However, the closer we come to an DFA Alpha 1 value of 0 0.75, you can see that the Alpha HRV app decreases a little bit earlier than the Fatmaxer app. So I believe that this version of Alpha HRV is quite okay to um, estimate your aerobic threshold. However, I think for the anaerobic threshold it's not um, perfect, not quite perfect yet. Why so? Well, you can see that the DFA Alpha 1 drops clearly below 0 0.5 and reaches values of 0 0.3 or even 0 0.2 in the Alpha HRV app, while Fatmaxer still shows values of above 0 0.5 and nearly never drops below 0 0.5. So it will be interesting to compare the next version of Alpha HRV with the Fatmax app. So like the video, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video. And now get on your bike and be awesome.